the 2K Sports pregame show, sponsored by Sprite. Hello again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson, along with Shaquille O'Neal on 2K Sports, and the NBA season is about to begin. Moments away, it'll be the Chicago Bulls going up against the Houston Rockets at Toyota Center. And for Houston, it's always an exciting time of the year as fans and other players and coaches around the league all getting a first look at how they might be shaping up for the upcoming season. Shaq, you look around the league, uh, some of the NBA's best players are often the NBA's smartest players. Do you think basketball IQ is underrated? I think it's very underrated. If you look at a player like LeBron, you see his strength, his athleticism, and his skill level. His vision and awareness are what put him over the top. Great IQ, very unselfish, and I think that's a big part of that, Ernie. Do you have a high basketball IQ? Of course I do. They call me the Einstein of big men. Oh, I'd forgotten. E equals MC squared, Ernie. What's that mean? Don't know. Me either. Here's so, Kevin Harlan. I saw it on a test one time. <laughs> I missed it on a test one time. The Chicago Bulls are on the road in this interconference game today. We're live in Houston where the Rockets have home court advantage. Glad to have you with us for more NBA action. I'm Kevin Harlan introducing the rest of the 2K broadcast team. Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and sideline reporter Doris Burke. Bob goes to Houston. Now let's take a look at the Bulls opening lineup. D Rose and Jimmy Butler, the backcourt. Inside at the four and five are Gasol and Noah. And it's Dunleavy in at the three. And that one's good. James Harden Clark voted by a majority of NBA GMs last season as the number one shooting guard in the entire league. Really hard to argue that, Kevin. I mean, he's an elite scorer, second in the league in free throw attempts per game last season, and he's also a really, really good passer, able to make his teammates better because he draws so much attention, and he's a crafty and willing passer. Chicago on defense. Everly with the ball, and Rose picks him up defensively. Everly with the ball. It's Ariza on the wing. Shot is good off the back rim and in. About a minute played so far here in the first. Rose goes in. Outside Butler. Lots of room. Butler missing again. Nobody anywhere close to him. Where's the defense? He's got to make that shot though. Harden the pass to Beverly. In low to Howard. Beverly dishes to Howard. Here's a reason. And the rebound goes to Pau Gasol. And Chicago has possession. Four-point game. Rose kicks to Buck. Here's Dunleavy. From deep, Rose. That's good. There's a chance he could have a big game if they don't DM up more tightly on the perimeter. Rockets have gone two or three here to start out the game. Beverly dishes to Jones. Just about two minutes into the game. First quarter of basketball. There's the pass to Harden. Clock at six. Pulls it up. Here's Howard. Drops in the layup for two. Howard's got his first bucket in this one. If you battle for the offensive rebound and come up with it, you're guaranteed a high-quality shot on the follow just like he got there. Rose goes in. Good. Rose has got five points so far. 
It's going to be tough for the defense today. If he's got his A game rolling here tonight, we'll see. Well, the Rockets were so deadly, Steve, in this building, and a lot of that was because of how fast they would get things going. Yeah, they would often blitz opponents out of the gate and just manage the lead after the first quarter. Now, here's Ariza. Here's Howard. He feeds it to Beverly. Takes the three, and it was still over the rim. Offensive basket interference. Chicago trailing here. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in. Pass to Dunley. Back to Rose. Knocked away. The 10-footer. Green for two points. Rose has got seven points in the game. You know, as you were saying, the Rockets were great here. Their fast starts here at the Toyota Center helped them win 33 games at home last season. Now, here's Ariza. Back to Harden. Here's Howard. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. He's getting his hands dirty right away by doing some battling on the boards. Rose with the ball. He's picked up by Ariza. And that one's good by Butler. Well, for the Rockets, they're just so tough to beat at home because they're explosive offensively, and they've got a great crowd. So once they get the lead in their home building, they are tough to catch. Houston making some changes. Jeff Adrian's checked in for Jones for James Harden. And it's Cannon in for Patrick Beverly. Ariza kicks to Howard. Hands it from short range. Howard's got six points. Here's Rose. Seven points in the game. The dish to Dunley. Rose attacking. It's blocked, and they're able to recover. And the defense fouling there to prevent that layup, forcing two free throws here. A nice job that time of attacking the paint and drawing the contact. They'll take that. Bulls shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. And not a very strong free throw shooting team in general. Guys, they shot 73% as a team a year ago. Yeah, a, as a group, really a dismal year for them from the line last season, guys. Kanan gets to a reason. It's stolen by Rhodes. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game. And he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. Savage, that's, that's the way to get some momentum on your side. Absolutely, those dunks can really have a deflating effect on the defense. Especially coming from a guy out of the backcourt. Pass to Keenan. On the wing, Daniels, with one on the clock. And the horn signals the end of the first. Not much offense so far. Bulls lead by four. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of the break. And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Bulls? And a good start for this club. I like the way they played together. Really moved the ball and did a nice job offensively. Yeah, excellent ball movement. And it's paid off on the scoreboard, too. On the court right now, second quarter for the Bulls. Inside, Gibson and Noah. D. Rose and Jimmy Butler at the back. And it's McDermott in at the three spot. Well, Dwight Howard, in his words, back to having fun playing basketball last season in Houston. A younger group, more compatible to his fun-loving personality. And certainly with Harden and others, they've got a depth of talent that uh, is very impressive. Probably the best core around him of his entire career. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Kevin, Dwight Howard certainly excited to be in Houston. He said, having guys like Hakeem and Kevin McHale on my side, I can't lose. They're going to really stay on top of me, and that's what I want. Olajuwon said, I'm like a kid in a candy store. He has the power. Now we're adding finesse to that power. A scary thought, Kevin. He could be unstoppable, Doris. Thanks. Good on the shot. Terry's got the opening basket here in the second quarter for the Rockets. And Howard, 
Uh, Clark bit by bit recovering from his back surgery, which really waylaid him in the 2012 year. It did, and it takes a couple of years to come back from that kind of back injury. And, you know, it did limit some of his explosiveness around the rim as a shot blocker, but he seems to be close to where he was prior to surgery now. Here is Daniels. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. And it was almost like he was surprised to be that wide open, yet he knocked it down. Now here's Rose. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. That was an awfully risky pass, guys. Lucky it didn't wind up as a steal. Well, it nearly did wind up as a steal, but no harm done in the end. They hang on to possession. Andrew Beverly, he's checked in for Daniels. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Guys, he's actually indefatigable. He never gives in, never gives up on a play, and that's what it takes to be a great offensive rebounder. You've got to be relentless. Now, here is Harden. Noah with the block. And as it goes out of bounds, Houston able to keep the ball here. A shot by Harden, wide open. No good off the back of the rim. And it is very dangerous to leave him open like that. Lucky break for the defense that he missed it. Bulls were a team last year that just never gave up. That was their identity. They didn't have a ton of talent, but they played with a toughness and a defensive mentality that always seemed to keep them moving forward. Rockets trail by five. Jones sets the pin for Harden. Kicks it to Jones. Shoots from the elbow. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. And it's not just their passing, but they're cutting their movement together as a unit that's led to that. Now here's Butler. Five points in the game. There's Rose with the three. Tries again. Gibson. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Gibson's got the lead up to five now for Chicago. For Houston, they've gone 50% for the four in the second quarter, three of six. Now a timeout called by Houston. Two changes for Chicago. Ozzie Muhammad's checked in for Noah. Dunleavy comes in for McDermott. And it's Heinrich in for Rose. And for those of you just joining us in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. Jones, the pass to Beverly. Harden dishes to Jones. Six on the shot clock. And he gets it to go. Jones has got four points in the quarter. Terrence Jones is a great fit in this up-tempo style the Rockets like to play. A fluid athlete, he's able to outrun and outquick most of the power forwards he goes up against. For three, Heinrich. Rockets with the rebound. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. Adrian kicks to Beverly. Here's Adrian, defended by Dunleavy. Just his first attempt. And it's Beverly missing. And Terrence Jones, a lefty with a good handle and, and that quickness, Steve, you were talking about. He can give big men trouble facing up. Yeah, he's got the ability to get to the rim and the length and explosiveness that can make him a great finisher. He's one of the top field goal percentages in the league last season. Bulls shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. Well, you know, Todd Gibson was the 26th pick back in 2009 coming out of USC, and boy, what a get for the Bulls. He's a defensive-minded big man who can defend the four and five position, and he's also got a very reliable mid-range jump. The number of points they've scored in the paint already today is pretty eye-opening, Steve. No, it's off the charts. It really is. And defensively, I mean, they have to start shutting down some of those lanes to the hoop. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. And for Taj Gibson, a 16, a 7 4 wingspan. That length helps make him disruptive. An excellent defender and shot blocker. And the Rockets making a change here. Cannon's checked in. And Gibson, very mobile, able to cover ground defensively. Yeah, play. he's got a slender build, Kevin, but he's a worker in the weight room. Slight and light, but Coach Thibodeau says he's the team's hardest worker and he's getting stronger. 
Now here's Heinrich. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. On the wing, Harden, defended by Butler. Here's Kanan. To the paint, Gibson with the steal. Here's Heinrich. The shot misses. Good D by Harden. Not too much congestion in the lane. I think he could have gotten a better shot that time, no question. Close game as we wrap up the second quarter. It's the Bulls. Thank you, Kevin Dwight. What's your assessment of the team you're playing here tonight? That's our team. You know, they play hard, they play together, they move the ball, and uh, they, they know how to play uh, within the offense, you know. And uh, we've been doing a better job on the defense end, and I think tonight we came out with the right mentality. We just got to keep it up. Dwight, thank you. They know they've got their hands full, Kevin. All right, Doris, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow here on 2K Sports. Both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now if one can pull out away here in the third. Some good play from Rose in this one. He has nine points, and he's added a steal to his stat line also. Well, that's obviously not a big number, but you know, he's been doing some valuable defensive work for him. And it's been a back-and-forth game so far with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter starting here now. Kind of like what Derrick Rose has done in this game. It's like he made everything he got. I mean, anytime he had an open look, he took advantage of the opportunity there in that first half. And see, they were all good looks. I mean, his shot selection has been terrific throughout the game. Terrence Jones is down low with Howard. Beverly and Harden man the back. And it's a reason in at the small forward. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. Jones, Harden has a wide open look. And he hits it to tie the game up. Harden's got the first basket of the second half. That one for the Rockets. Terrence Jones was part of the 2012 championship team at Kentucky with Anthony Davis. And in year two with the Rockets, stepping into the starting role at power forward. Here's Beverly. Rose with some nice D. And so here is Chicago. That's good. Now it's a four-point Bulls lead. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. Jones sets the pick for Harden. Shoots off the screen. The second chance effort. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. And no question, he got bumped on that shot. Definitely no room for discussion on that one. It's his first trip to the line. And you look back at last season, he shot 87% from the foul line. Yeah, those were fine numbers he posted um, at the line. It was hard to find fault with anything he did from the strike. That's good. 15 points for Rose. Nice move and finish. I think the halftime break gave him a second win. He looks fresh. Keep it going for your Rockets power dancers. Rockets trail by four. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Beverly, the pass to Jones. And he elevates for the slam dunk. Joe King Noah did not like that one. Man, he got fancy with that one, didn't he? Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. Yeah, I like that. I mean, some coaches might want to see just a, a sure-handed lay-in, but I say put as much as you can on the finish and get your teammates going. This offense's first miss after three straight makes to start the second half. And that one's good. Beverly. I like the way they're working the ball inside because when you do that, you get higher percentage shots, and typically good things happen. Here's Rose. Gasol dishes to Dunley. Pass to McDermott. The feed to Rose. Over to the left wing. Off the left rim and out. Rockets are gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. The Rockets, of course, at the forefront or vanguard as far as advanced analytics go. Some in the NBA have scoffed, but hey, they're doing something right. 
Out left to the wing. McDermott, no one around him. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Rose has got three assists now in this one. And as you guys know, the Rockets at the forefront technology-wise, too. You see coaches with electronic tablets. Well, they installed flat-screen monitors in the locker room, highlighting stats and videos for players. So, you know, they're trying to close the loop and, and create that line of communication between the numbers crunchers and the players themselves. The second effort. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Bulls shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. First free throw is good. Houston making some changes. Jeff Adrian's checked in for Jones for James Harden. And it's Isaiah Cannon in for Patrick Beverly. And at the free throw line, it's all about consistency with him. Same routine, same stroke. Cannon gets to a reason. Uncovered. That's short off the rim. I thought he'd make that one. That's his range, and the defense nowhere to be seen. Rose passes to Noah. Fires the three. And it's Rose. This time, the assist by Noah. Rose has got the lead up to five now for the Bulls. The Rockets have gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. And here's Daniels. Screened by Howard. Ariza outside. Shot clock at six. Ariza with another miss. And you got to like the defense inside, really protecting the rim. Challenging shots and making his presence felt around the rim. That's exactly what he can give you. They're straying away from the three-point game here in the second half. And, uh, that's fine as long as they're on the lead and they're getting good shots. They've decided not to take nearly as many three-pointers in this half. Rockets trail by seven. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. The basket by Keenan. Boy, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. They've got a battle inside. Well, this game has been tough, Clark. I mean, they're getting after it. I think they're starting to run a little bit low on energy, possibly. Derrick Rose, born and raised on the south side of Chicago, now playing for his hometown <laughs> board. He even became a partner and endorser for Chicago's top deep dish pizza chain. He does represent this town. You talk about Derrick Rose's culinary interest. He's looked to change his diet for the better. Yeah, he, he needed to, Kevin, because, uh, you know, he was a big fan of candy when he came into the league. It was kind of his vice. He said he would eat up to two pounds of candy in one sitting. I mean, that's just crazy. But he's hired a personal chef. He's eating better. He's taking care of his body. And uh, it's important, obviously, as you get older and, and you're dealing with injuries. Left side, Rose. Dunleavy dishes to Rose. Feeds to McDermott. Clock is at three. 18 feet out. The shot is off. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Bulls lead by seven. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. How about the creativity, guys? Terrific vision to pick out that pass and set up the basket. Some serious creativity. Rockets trail by seven, so the Bulls five right now. Inside of the four and five are Gasol and Noah. Doug McDermott is out there with Rose, and it's Dunleavy in at the small forward position. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. Go get those boards. Any extra possessions that you can get, either through steals or rebounds, are so critical in this game. Everly with the ball. Now defended by McDermott. Now here's Beverly. Howard setting the pick for Harden. And he sinks the shot coming off the strong pick. Harden's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for Houston. Outside Rose dishes it to McDermott. They get it again. Noah banked in off the glass. And the Bulls lead by seven. And we played through about a minute here in the fourth. Now here's Beverly. He's covered closely. The 11-footer. That one goes. Covered. 
Something they'd like to see more of him more often, that's for sure. The Bulls leading by five. Rose attacking over to the wing. Near the three-point line, it's Dunleavy. Busts the J after the KG pass fake. It's been the story of the game for him. Fortunately, his teammates have bailed him out. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Patrick Beverly is absolutely a hound dog defensively. He's got so much pit bull in him and how he goes about defending people at that guard spot. He's not a big playmaker or scorer. He's basically a three-point shooter and a defensive specialist. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Well, what was supposed to be the triumphant return for Derrick Rose a year ago quickly turned into another nightmare season. Finally returning from that torn ACL in the 2012 playoffs, he managed only 10 games before tearing the meniscus in his other knee. Just devastating. We obviously hope that Rose can come back and put in a full season. Oh, some slick passing from Harden on that one. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Outside Rose. McDermott, no one around him. Here's Noah. He dishes it to Dunlap. Here's McDermott. It's good. This time the assist for Rose. Seven points for Doug McDermott. I like the offensive awareness to exploit that lack of coverage on that play. Trevor Ariza's checked in for Jason Terry. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Guys, over that last break, I listened to Kevin McHale address his team. He told them, guys, we're getting bogged down in the half court. Let's get out and run, see what's available in early offense. If there's nothing there, we can always back it out and run our sets. Good advice, Kevin. They get the rebound. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. Seems like they're on their heels every time defensively because the ball continues to go into the post. Well, if they don't pick up the aggression, things are only going to get worse. Well, you take a look at Rose, who was extremely patient in trying to get back to being on the court, and then he fell victim to another devastating knee injury. Yes. Terrific blow for him personally and certainly for the team and the city. But fortunately, the surgery did manage to keep all of his meniscus, which provides a better prognosis as we move forward. Harden kicks to Beverly. Nine feet out, and it's blocked by Gasol. They get it back. Six to shoot. Outside Ariza. No good. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Stolen by Harden. And it's Jones. That's on the assist by Howard. And that's 11 points for Terrence Jones. Guys, he shot a very good percentage today. They need him. Double team on Rose. He kicks to Dunlap. For the three, another three for Chicago. The D has gotten a little lax defending the three-point shot at that end. Agreed, Clark. They poured in three of the last five baskets on pretty open looks behind the arc. One thirty-two left in the game. Houston moving the ball around. Beverly, the pass to Howard. And he banks in the lane. Chicago leading by six. Rose goes in. And that one's good. Rose has got 17 now, just in the second half. A very good half for them from the field. They've got their shooting percentage up over 50%. Yeah, they got a great chance to go ahead and close this game out because their offense is really clicking right now. The Bulls have gone six and nine on their field goal attempt since the start of the fourth quarter. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Of course, he didn't have an attempt there in the first half. He's hoping to be a little bit more active and aggressive here and draw some fouls here in the second. Rose hits them both. And so here is Houston, trailing by 10. And the foul on Derek Rose. That'll be his second foul of the game. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter. 
here's Ariza. And it comes off the front of the rim. Chicago's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. And the pass to McDermott. Back to Rose. It's rebounded by Houston. Guys, no real chance for them to come back now. Nope, this one is sealed and delivered. Now you just want to you know, forget about this one, move on to the next game, and you got to try to get better at practice. for three he connects well the fans already heading for the exits clearly not pleased with the way their home team played here today and they shouldn't be pleased i mean it's a very well deserved win steve they came into this building and weren't intimidated at all they were the aggressors and so chicago takes this one and by a big margin and this one was such a lopsided victory they never let up they were full throttle from the start and time now to go courtside as we send you over to doris burke from the side doris well, pal, congratulations on the win. Tell us about the approach that the team took tonight in maximizing its effectiveness on the offensive end. I think we just concentrated and we, we worked hard until the last second of every possession. And, and I think that's something that we want to continue to do and be consistent with. And, and I, you know, we're happy that today we were able to fight through everything and then still come out with a great win. Congratulations, pal. Thanks for the time. Guys? All right, Doris, thank you. And for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. Now our Jordan player of the game, Derek Rose.